so this is the all new Hyundai Tucson and by now I am sure that you know everything about it design features interiors and whatnot but if you are new to this channel then in this video I'll be sharing five key highlights of the all new Hyundai Tucson and we will be explaining how the ADAS works so without wasting any further ado let's start the video I am your host Jatin and you are watching 91 wheels So let's talk about the design first. Hyundai calls it's a parametric style philosophy design. But in my opinion, I think the Hyundai Tucson looks just striking. Well, at the front, you can see this is an all new grille, the parametric style grille. And what's interesting is the hidden LED DRLs. Well, they are camouflaged right in the grille. But when they light up, this actually looks menacing. Over here we have the headlights, the low beam, high beam and the four skid plates that actually gives the Tucson a striking look. Let's move to the side profile and see what Hyundai Tucson gets. So the front is explained. What about the side? Well, when you move towards the side, the first thing that you will notice are these 18 inch alloy wheels that actually looks stunning. But what's more interesting are these squared out wheel arches that gives the SUV a rugged look. Also, what we have here is the Z-shaped creasing line that Hyundai Tucson gets. And overall, the side profile will not disappoint you at all. Let's move to the rear and see what it gets. So my favorite part of the Hyundai Tucson design is the rear profile. What we have here is a single LED bar that runs across the width of the car. And also, if you thought that the parametric design theme is over, well, you are wrong because it is seen in the tail light section as well. Plus, we have this jewel-like design that gets lit up once you press on the brake pedal. What's also interesting in the Hyundai Tucson is how they have concealed this Hyundai logo uh, in the glass itself plus you also get rear wiper and washer and they they are concealed here itself I mean they are hidden and you wouldn't even know that this car gets a rear wiper and washer so this was the design the second part the second highlight that I want you to know about the Hyundai Tucson are the engine options well the 2 liter petrol and the 2 liter turbocharged diesel engine are carried over as before however the peak torque in the diesel is improved and it now sticks to 416 newton meters well that is a lot for a car of this size the third thing i want to talk about is adas i mean it is the first suv in its segment it will rival citroen c5 aircross volkswagen tiguan and the cheap compass it gets adas which is the first in segment and the features can be explained right now so now i am sat inside uh, of the hyundai tucson and sadly i could not drive the car but monesh here from hyundai team is helping me out understand the features of the adas so first up we are just uh, taking a test run of this track and afterwards he told me that we'll be experiencing the smart cruise control and lane departure assist lane keep assist lane follow assist and everything related to adas so the first impression of the cabin of the Hyundai Tucson, the only Hyundai Tucson, if I may say, then I think it will have a pretty good run in the Indian market. The older Tucson did really well and with uh, the two-tone interior color scheme, I think all the passengers sitting inside uh, will definitely have an airy experience. So the first thing uh, when I sat inside the cabin of the Hyundai Tucson, was this 10.25 uh, inch touchscreen infotainment system and below are the touch sensitive AC controls. Sadly, there are no manual controls. I wish Hyundai could have uh, given the manual controls, but nonetheless, the cabin uh, gives a really premium feeling. 
Uh, as I do the second lap now, uh, we have started the second lap. So Monish will here explain me how the smart cruise control works. So I can give you a better insight that if you're planning to buy this car, how to enjoy the features, the smart, sensitive, and the ADAS control features that you can enjoy on the Hyundai Tucson. First, we'll be seeing about the smart cruise control. Okay. Basically, what does this feature does? It's like unlike other cruise control where you set the speed at certain cruise speed and it goes on that speed mm -hmm. it follows the before car for safer okay. purpose now i set the cruise this is the cruise button once i click on that okay. it will be on and i can toggle between the speeds okay. in the, like a normal cruise control yes. and now when i set it like around 70 but you can see the car is going below 70 because mm -hmm. the before car is not going up to 70 yes. and the car i think has applied brakes uh, itself yeah. right yes because that of the smart you can see control. i have not operated yes. any brake pe uh, brake pedal or accelerator pedal mm -hmm. it came to a stop yes. on its own mm -hmm. and now you will see that the car will be starting on its own without any input from me. So Monash here has not, uh, you know, just pressed the accelerator. The car is accelerating it because of the smart cruise control function. And it actually behaves in a way that it monitors the radars, the sensors and the cameras placed on the windshield, on the bumper, everywhere. This car is full of tech, by the way. So they control the car uh, in according to the way that how the uh, forward car is moving. If the... Uh, the car ahead of us is braking then we will brake too and it pauses automatically yeah yeah, yes. yeah. so everything is automatic now okay. i'm not uh, not even stepping on accelerator pedal or brake pedal so i'm just holding on my steering so you see the car is following the speed of that car yes and uh, now you will see when the car that car stops before car stops it will stop on its own the braking will be also very gradual it not panic anymore yeah, so braking is happening happening gradually yes, there's happening. no panic braking i mean yes there is a bit of a rush that you can feel but then that is uh, like marginally that can be marginally ignored another thing i would like to say is that uh, this armrest is actually pretty good i mean uh, both the driver can keep their elbows here and they won't be touching each other so i think uh, that's a nifty feature and it's it's a good one on our second run, we'll be seeing about the lane related features. Okay. So this is the button for the lane related feature. Okay. And one press turns on your lane follow assist. Okay. And the long hold turns on the lane keep assist. Lane keep assist. Okay. So you can see there is no lane here. Hmm. So the icon is white. Okay. Yes. Now once it picks up the lane, it hmm. gives information to the customer, hmm. like it has picked the lane by turning to green. Okay. So you can see that it turns yes. to green. It turns to green. Yes. Now it has picked the lane. Now it is the car is in the control of the uh, lane markings. Okay. So this is the lane keep assist. Basically, uh, it will help you where there are marked lines. Marked lines has to be present on the road, and the car will maneuver itself. If uh, there is a steering feedback, like if we turn yeah. just slightly left. So now I am. There will be a beep. So this, the, the, that sound that you heard Learned. is the warning. Departure warning. And the, with the lane keep assist, even if with a slight left, it will correct on its own. It will correct on its own, like Monish said. So I think that's a really great feature. Now when we try to change the lane or okay. something, it will give a warning and then try to correct itself. Correct itself. Okay. So you can see I'm not uh, giving any input to yes. correct on its own. See the steering wheel operator. So now you can see that first we took off our legs, we are not yes. doing anything, now we took off our hands also. This is the so, the... so the drive in the new Tucson is just effortless, if I am say. Yes. <laughs> so that's the ADAS for you. Yes. <laughs> so the next uh, round we'll be seeing related to the blind spot. So okay. this is like more of a safety related feature more than a convenient feature. Mm -hmm. So we'll create some gap between the okay. before car. We have our we have our own car which will be coming in our blind spot okay. and helping us to experience the sure. blind spot features. So basically, you will see three things in this. One is the the car blind spot, the car in the blind spot in the pressure video. Hmm. Second is the triangle flashing out that warning triangle, and third one is if you are not noticed that there will be a beep which alerts you. Okay. So to see that. 
Okay, so but the car won't stop itself, right? Like uh, it uh, stops at the junction lane. Ah, uh, that junction stop hmm. and the rear uh, collision, everything is explained in inside. Okay, so yes. we'll uh, get back to those features later on. But let's uh, follow the blind spot monitoring system, yes. right? Yes, yeah. blind spot collision alert system. Blind spot collision alert system. Sorry. So now I'm on this lane. I'm tending to move to the right lane. I put the indicator. Okay. Now, unfortunately, there is a car in the blind spot. So you could have heard the yes. indication as well as the flashing, yes. and also the car inside the blind spot in the video. So this is the rear traffic collision warning. Yeah. Warning yeah. it will give, and then suddenly oh, apply the brakes. Like, can see? Like okay, okay. Example. Okay. Warning was there because the vehicle was moving from this side. Hmm. So the warning was like hmm. this. If the vehicle is moving from this side, then it will be like this. So I explained to you what the lane keeping assist, lane follow assist was. Well, this with this agar explains that this is the rear traffic collision warning and then the braking, right? Yeah. Yes. Assistance. Braking assist. So that's about the. It happens with the both the sides, okay. left and right. Okay. Similarly, uh, you will be often parking your car on the road side. Yes. Where uh, at one side you have to face the traffic to open the door. Yes. So sometimes um, you might not uh, feel attentive and true. You will open the door all of a sudden and the possibility of collision is mm -hmm. there, right? So in that case, early it will give you the warning. If any vehicle is approaching towards you, and if you try to open the door, okay. So this feature works around zero to three. Hmm. So like, if any vehicle is approaching, and if you try to open, okay, then it will show you the warning. So this is the safe exit warning, hmm. and it works with all the four doors. Okay. So I think safe exit warning is one feature that we Indians really need to use. Actually, it will come in handy because we have a habit of opening the doors without looking at the back. So, with the safe exit warning, it will give you. Uh, it will actually uh, give you the warning mm -hmm. in the instrument cluster that you know some something is behind, and you actually uh, do not need to open the door. So it will be a visual and as well as a audible warning. Okay, so it is both audio and visual. Mm -hmm. yeah. Even for all the warnings, it's both audio. It's and both audio. Yes. Now we'll be moving with the forward collision warning and assist. So in general, when you are traveling um, on any highway or road, sometimes you won't uh, give detail to the, to the road, or yes. somebody might suddenly jump into your lane. Yes. At that time, you don't have the reaction time. Yes. Then there is possibility of collision. Or if you are not uh, giving the detail to the road also, uh, then there is a possibility of collision. So here, there is a pedestrian in front of us uh, who is in our lane standing, and we are also if we are also not uh, uh, paying attention to him. First, it will give you the warning. Then it will apply the light right on our remote everything. Okay. So I haven't pressed anything. Remove my hands also from the steering. So that the jerk that you experience in the video, there's a dummy pedestrian in front of us, and this was the front collision assist. Assist. First, it gave us a warning and then applied brakes, and we did not intervene with the system at all. He did not uh, depress. He did not apply the brakes, and he was not even touching the steering wheel. So but uh, uh, I have a question though. So does it uh, work in all speeds or since we slowed down a little? No. Okay. Actually, it, it starts from 10 kmph to 180 kmph. 180 kmph. About 10, it will. This feature will activate. Okay. Up to 180, it will uh, assist. Okay. Okay. So the things are like. The, there are two types of braking, full braking and mm. partial braking. Yes. So if your vehicle speed is around 65 to 70, mm. then it will apply partial uh, full brake. Okay. If you are over speed, mm. then it will first apply partial braking okay. to get your speed down so mm. that no mishap can happen. Okay, fine. Uh, and still there is a possibility of collision, mm. uh, then it will apply the uh, uh, full brake. Okay. Right now there is a cyclist. Okay. so. In front of our lane, so mm. even if you move, now this is for the 
cyclist cyclist ahead of us if no if anyone jumps in front in a cycle then yes the car will automatically understand and apply its brake automatically so generally this fc w and fc a will works for the cyclist uh, pedestrian child pedestrian mm -hmm. child uh, also mm -hmm. and as well as uh, the vehicles there will be different types of vehicles if you see the motorcycle the mm -hmm. auto rickshaw mm -hmm. e rickshaw which we generally find in india it works well for that also okay. there are many construction vehicles mm -hmm. so which are uh, some work specific for the indian types okay it works for the hand carts it works for the uh, things some hand carts also so it okay. works for all the types of things and when it comes to the pedestrian there the attire is also important like in india women will wear sari yes. burqa pajamas sometimes yes. so these kind of attire also the system can detect and it will do the function as programmed so basically it will work for all indian road conditions yeah. and keep the driver as well as the person ahead yeah. safe Like if you can see, there is a dummy vehicle in yes. front of us parked in that same lane. And our speed so is forty uh, kilometer per hour. I'm traveling around forty to forty-five. Yes. So let's see. First call, then break. Okay. So the we were actually in forty uh, to forty-five when we were hitting the cycle and the pedestrian. Our speeds were low, but. Here the speed was more, and you could experience. Uh, I could experience that the jerk was just too much. So I think this uh, safety features of the ADAS really works with the new Hyundai Tucson. Now I am inside of the Hyundai Tucson, and this explains my fourth point. That is how well the interior setup is neatly laid out. What you get here are the two-tone interior. I would say that this is a black and grey one. It kind of looks off-white color, but then you decide in the comment section as to which one do you like the most. Then you have a big panoramic sunroof that will give the passengers an airy feeling. And also, what you have is the big 10.25 inch instrument cluster that supports Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and it has 60 plus Blue Link technology features. What I don't like is that Hyundai has not provided the manual controls for the AC. These are touch sensitive, but I really wish that they could have provided the manual controls. Otherwise, I am happily uh, seated in the rear seat of uh, the Hyundai Tucson, and I feel that it can accommodate three people easily, even for the longer journeys. Now since I have talked about the interior what I also want to showcase is that the Hyundai Tucson gets a wheelbase of 2.75 meters which is the fifth highlight of this video 2.75 meters I mean this is the best I have adjusted the driver seat according to my height and as you can figure out I have loads of knee room I mean headroom is just phenomenal but Let's talk about this knee room. It is just too good. Also, the back seat angle uh, is okay. I mean, I would not say that is it is the most comfortable, but it can be manageable. Plus, the seats can be reclined. So here we have the rear seat comfort of the Hyundai Tucson. So that brings towards the end of our video. I am sure that you liked. watching this video and if you did you know what to do make sure to like this video and if you haven't already subscribe to 91 wheels and press that bell notification so you never miss any updates i am your host jatin and let's meet in other videos